so much for checking out Sortly. In today's video, I want to walk you through how you can easily run a low stock report within your inventory backend. Now, at this point, in order for you to be able to see items on this report, you're generally going to have to have a min level associated with those items, and the items have to be at or below that min level at a minimum. Now, in order to check or see if an item has a min level, you'll have to click into an item or to set that initially. I'll walk you through how to do this very quickly. So if we go into the add new function and then we click on add item, I can go in and add an item quickly. I'm gonna add a t-shirt in this example. And I can set the quantity to, let's say two, and I'm gonna set the min level to five. Now, this min level uh, essentially is going to be triggered because the quantity is now below that minimum threshold. So we set the minimum that we're comfortable with having for that item at five, and we're well below that. We're at three below that at this point. So if I'm to add this item into the system, it's going to add it. I should be able to see a little banner on my item letting me know that it's running low. And if I actually jump into the reports and specifically look at the low stock report here, I'm going to be able to see all of the items that are running low. And here's the t-shirt that we just added. So you can see every single item that we're running low on is currently indicated with a little red banner here. And that just lets us know, hey, you're, at, you're below that minimum threshold that you set. You may want to look into reorder these, reordering these items specifically. Now, we can easily generate a report at this point, or we could filter this data out. So maybe we want to filter based on a specific folder. We can click on this little slider wheel here, and we can apply which folder we want to work with. Maybe we want to work with just the available inventory uh, and the all items area. That's going to uh, adjust the current amount of inventory that we see, and you can see it brings that down to just three items that are actually at or below that minimum threshold from what we actually may need. So of course you can apply all these filters. This is gonna allow you to narrow down the results and really get the data and the insights that you're looking for. And of, of course, if you ever wanted to export this data uh, for your records for a CSV file, Excel spreadsheet, etc., you can click on export report. You can begin filling out the fields that are most important to you to see. You also have the opportunity here to select whether you want it in an Excel format or a CSV format. So toggle that on if you want. And then as always, you can go in and choose which fields work the most for your uh, export here. So we can uncheck anything that we don't necessarily care to see, leave everything else checked that is important to us. And again, if this is a very common report, toggle this option on here. That will hold that criteria for you, allowing you to easily generate this report over and over and over again within the system. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, reach out to us at support at sortly.com. Thanks again.